Okay, and this units for data video, we're going to look at the different units that we're using for data throughout the um, throughout the class this year, or some, at least some of them to start. So the first thing we're going to look at is the difference between some American units and some metric conversions. Okay, so we're looking at meters and feet. Okay, um, one meter is equal to 3.28 feet, which means if you've got a meter stick, it's about okay the same thing as a yard. So a meter and a yard are very similar because a yard is three feet. Okay, kilograms and pounds. In one kilogram, there are 2.2 pounds. Okay, so if you take your weight and cut it in half, that's about what it is in kilograms. Okay, yards and kilometers. Um, there are about 1,100 yards, or it's actually 1,094 yards in a kilometer. So if you think there's 100 yards in a football field, Okay, you take 100 times uh, 10, you're looking at about 1,000, you're looking at about 10 football fields as a kilometer. Okay, um, Kelvins and degrees Celsius, or I'm sorry, degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, Kelvin is another SI unit for temperature, I haven't talked a whole lot about that yet, but one Kelvin is negative 457.87 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Kelvin and degrees Celsius. One Kelvin is negative 272.15 deg uh, degrees Celsius. If I go between degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit, take the temperature in Celsius, okay, that's going to be equal to 5 ninths times the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32. Okay, we looked at in the little uh, chemistry and measurement, you're going to be dealing with that room temperature is about 22 degrees Celsius. If I wanted to put that to Kelvin, all you would do is you would add basically 273, and that would get my number in Kelvin. Okay, Kelvins are always a lot larger. I know it's 272.15, but really we round up and call it all right, being basically 273. Okay, you will do that conversion um, a lot throughout the year because we do use degrees Celsius, and a lot of equations use uh, Kelvin. Okay, and they're not degree Kelvin, they're Kelvin. Okay. Um, the next one we look at is our SI units, okay, and then there are seven SI base units, and I'm actually going to show you a chart here that you're going to copy down, okay. There are seven SI units, okay. Um, there's length, mass, temperature, time, an amount of a substance, how luminous it is, the current, okay, or electricity that we're dealing with, okay. You have meters, which is M, kilograms is mass. Kelvin is temperature, seconds is S, moles are M-O-L-E -L, uh, -L or M-O-L, candelas are CD, and amperes are A or amps, okay? Those are the seven SI base units. What happened was um, a group of scientists got together and they decided that these are the basic units that we're going to use to measure items, okay? And we're going to call, um, for mass, I'm going to call this thing right here a uh, kilogram, and I believe it's actually some kind of, um, I think, platinum mass or something that's kept. And they decided that, that is going to be called a kilogram. And everything else was based off of that. And they did the same thing for a meter. Okay, they called, they said, okay, we're going to call this right here a meter. We're going to divide it into 10 and keep dividing it into tens. Okay, and we're going to call those in centimeters and kilometers and all kinds of things. Okay, but these are the base units that these group of people sat down and made them as like the standard for every single unit. Okay. Uh, the main ones that we're going to be working with are going to be um, length, mass, temperature, and time. We don't deal with these three a whole lot. We'll deal with the, this one a lot more in the middle part of the year. For right now, we don't. These are ones that we really don't deal with a whole lot. Physics deals with amperes a little bit, and we don't really deal with luminosity a whole lot. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at are metric unit prefixes. So every metric unit has these prefixes that go in front of it that stand for so many times 10. Okay, so... These are the basic ones that we use throughout the year, okay? I, we really only use um, kilo, we don't use giga or mega, but I put those there just so that there are some other ones that are larger units, okay? Um, the ones on the left here are all ones that are larger than your base unit. The ones on the right are all ones that are smaller than your base unit. So we have like 10 to the 9th is giga, that's a G. 10 to the 6th is mega, M. 10 to the 3rd is kilo, that's a K. And then you would have your base unit, Okay, and then you have 10 to the negative second is centi, 10 to the negative third is milli, 10 to the negative sixth is micro, 10 to the negative ninth is nano. Okay, what those mean, okay, they mean the same thing as, if you say 10 to the ninth, that is like um, 
nine places or nine zeros. If we talk about kilo, okay, or K, that means that there are 1,000 of the base units and one kilo of that base unit. So like there are 1,000 meters and a kilometer, 10 to the third, three zeros. If it says 10 to the negative second, okay, for like centi, that means that you're dealing with kind of the other direction, they're smaller, okay? So you're talking about that I have in one centimeter, okay, you can look at it as I am 0.01 meters, or there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Same thing, okay? Milli will be the same way if you have milli. Okay, then in one millimeter, there are, oops, I put equal twice, there are point zero zero one meters, or also 1,000 um, millimeters in one meter. Depends on how you look at it. Okay, milli, centi, or smaller. We'll use um, nano a little later. Micro kind of has a little U there as well. So every single metric unit has these prefixes with them. You might have seen them um, in other math classes as something, and uh, the base unit was in between there. You never, you hardly ever use any of those three there. So we're going to deal with just basically um, K, C, and M for the most part. Okay. Um, when I talk about a base, okay, a base unit for this, in this sense, just means one unit. So you're talking about a meter for a um, gram or something like that. Those are base units. That's one unit, okay, versus an SI base unit. SI base units are the standards for that particular unit. Two different things, okay? There's SI base units and then a base unit. Okay, we're talking about what is a derived unit. Uh, derived unit is any combination of base units. So derived units are things like grams by milliliters. If you would do um, a centimeter cubed, that's a derived, technically a derived unit, okay? Because I have, um, when you're dealing with a centimeter times a centimeter times a centimeter, that's three different, that's three units there. Okay, you're combining something. Uh, if you're talking about, say, like miles per hour, that's a derived unit. Um, meters per second is another one. Okay, if you had, you know, people per hour, I don't know, whatever it would be. Okay, it's got to have some kind of combinations of units in there. Okay, centimeters squared, combinations of units. And okay, those are all derived units.